good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Wherever you are, whenever you might be watching my video. Here I have about a pound of ground beef. Now, when I was a kid, my mama used to make, we called it goulash. Uh, but she would take the ground beef and she'd brown it in the frying pan. And uh, uh, then she'd add paprika and some salt and some pepper, and then she'd add noodles. And my daddy loved it. My sisters loved it. I got four older sisters. I couldn't stand it. <laughs> it was it was a lot like Hamburger Helper. And uh, as you know, Ernie loves his Hamburger Helper type meals. Well, I'm going to make something very much like that. But instead of using noodles, which I don't have, I'm going to use some healthy multi-grain rice. So here is my hamburger meat. And I'm going to add to it some garlic. Now, don't tell Ernie. <laughs> and I'm going to add some pepper. And I'm going to add some salt. And I'm going to add some paprika. Now, just a second. Here's my, here's my paprika. I keep it like this in the freezer. So let me open it up and get some out. And there's my paprika. And uh, this is uh, smoked paprika. I don't know how much I added there. Oh, probably, I don't know, two tablespoons. I don't know. But anyway, now I'm going to mix this all up and get it, get a little cook. The hamburger meat I've cooked, but now I want it to just uh, really get those spices in there and, and meld away. So I'll bring you back in just a minute or two. There, that's good. See how that's doing there? That's perfect. So now, I made up some of this. Remember I did a product review on this. I'll give you a link to the video where I made this Ludenberg Wild Blend Rice. Well, I'm going to now add some of that rice. Because I don't have noodles. Okay, there's the rice I added. Now I'm going to mix this up real good. And I think I added about three cups of cooked rice. And, y'all, I think I'm going to add some more. So hold on just a second. Here's my rice, y'all. I had, Sorry, y'all, I had the battery trouble. I think I'm going to add about another cup of rice. And I'd say that's about a cup. So let me get this all mixed up really good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, looking good y'all, looking good. So now, what I'm going to do, let me put my rice away back over here on the other burner. Now, I've got my home canned tomatoes here. Remember my home canned tomatoes? Well, I'm going to add this. Now, my mama never added tomatoes to it when she made it. But looky there. Looky there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is, that is a proper goulash. <laughs> okay, so it's got rice instead of noodles. What the heck? This will satisfy Ernie's uh, uh, like of the hamburger helper type meals. And with the rice instead of the noodles, it'll be a lot better for him. So I'm going to get this good and heated through. And then I'm going to serve Ernie up and let him do his official taste test. So there's the rice goulash. Mmm. 
nice. So we'll be back in just a couple minutes. I'll get Ernie plated up and I'll show you how I'm serving it and he'll do his official taste test. So here you go y'all. There is my rice goulash. We made that with what a pound of uh, hamburger meat that we fried in the pan and we added a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic and some smoked paprika and then we added my home canned tomatoes and then I had made some of this Lundberg uh, wild rice, wild blend rice and we used that instead of noodles and I got Ernie a wee little salad here to go on the side so Ernie, go ahead and give you a taste test there. See what you think. So y'all, this is simple, quick, easy, and a little bit more healthy, healthier than adding noodles. And it's a homemade hamburger mm. helper. Mm. So what do you think? Good. Good? Mm. So there you go, y'all. I have satisfied Ernie's urge for hamburger helper type meals and I gave him something a little healthy. So, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.